So, we're here again. So, I want to talk about this envelope here. So, I'm going to explain what this envelope is. So, I ended up winning a bid of this set, which is one of the semi-key dates in the Lincoln Scent series, the 1922 Denver Mint Lincoln Scent, because, as we all know, the, the 1919 flu pretty much also kind of destroyed the mintages for these coins. In 1922, they had enough left over to make dyes, and the dyes were horribly weak, and they had a lot of fuck-ups and all that stuff. And the mints were only mint, the Denver Mint only minted Lincoln since that year. The only other coin that was minted that year was the Peace Dollar. So, I won this bid. I was the highest bidder, and I got $13. I got, well, in total, if you have the tax, $15. Now, this sounds like a knockoff deal, but imagine if you see all the other deals on Amazon and eBay. This was actually probably the best deal I can get for it. So, I took the offer. I bought the coin and it's here. So I did not, I do, I don't have the other side because it has my address and I want to reveal that. So I'm going to open it off, off the camera. This guy knew how to do his stuff well, huh? I also have a 1932 and a 1933 Lincoln set on the way. So open up the letter here. Did I cut anything? Nope, not that I know of. Good, okay. Let's take its contents out. Here it is. Oh, this is not 1922. This is the 1958 silver quarter I got. Well. Yes. Uh, okay, this coin was actually 648, so. 58D this was. I thought this was the 22D. And yes, I did I did win it. It's, it's not arrived yet, so... I guess we could put this folder back. Let's see, yes. There we go. So, I got this quarter for a reason. Um, I don't have... Well, it... Well, I don't have a lot of silver quarters, but that's not the big reason. Um, if you look in here, I have three quarters in here. I have none here. And I have a couple here and some clad issues. So I wanted a coin that would uh, fill this section here. So that's what I did. This, this was very cheaply, like six bucks. I'm gonna throw this plastic thing out. Why would you tape it like was kind of secure in the package anyway so let's see um there we go this is right here this is a 1958d you can see the mint mark that's right here anyway so this is the silver quarter. I thought this was a tw I thought this was the twenty two D that I won on a bid. But... And yeah, I cut straight through on the envelope. You can see I cut it straight through. I'm um, um, probably getting get another one of these. This I like the fact you got an email instead of like getting like something like this. This is just this is just like a package, but I'll show you. Like whenever I get a package like this, it's just like the spall. It's like a waste of space so anyway thanks for watching uh just got this quarter here very good deal and if you're wondering this is how much it was in total so it's the next day so i got the 1939d that i ordered um i actually ordered a few days ago um, I don't have that coin, which is why I got it. And we have this here. We have a... We have a coin, which is right here, if I can feel it. I want to open it, and let's see what it is. I don't necessarily know if it's the 22D I've been waiting for for the last week, for like the last week and a half. Actually, it's been like thurs last Thursday, but... Let's see. Uh, 
I don't like the fact that they, like, the guy, like, taped it into the envelope. I really don't know why you would do that. Tape destroys the value of the coin. Even if it is, even if it is an extremely common coin. And it just pisses me off by a whole margin. Let's see. So here it is. Oh, it's the 33. Okay. So the 33 just came in the mail. So I have the 1933 and the uh, 1939D. Don't know why it's stapled, but. So these are the coins I'm getting for myself for the holiday break. I'll keep this little envelope that the 39D is in, which is in this here. So I don't have a 33. I don't have the 32. The 32 is coming soon, I'm probably assuming. And I've been trying to wait for the 22D for the last week and a half. And it has not arrived. So this here is the 39D. Oh, it's a lot darker than I thought it would be. So here it is. This here is the 1933. And this is the 39D. So like Philip had dinner or something? Uh, not, so, nah, not really. It's just dirt and grime, but I can live with that. Okay. Okay, yeah. This is the good... This is the right one. Okay. So, um, this is still coming in the mail. Same with this one. I did not get the Ds because I want to buy them at some other point. So, but before we do anything, the first coin we'll be putting in is a 1939D. So, this will go here. These coins were not that, were not that, they were pretty cheap, like two or three bucks a piece, you know. Actually, no, this was like a dollar and ninety cents. This was like two thirty or something. Not a bad, not a bad deal. Okay, so the only dates I'm really missing from, like, every year is the 1922, which is coming in. I don't know which one's coming in first. I think this one's coming in last. And the 32. So now I have, like, every three in a row, really. Like, what? 1903, 33, the 43 or 53, 63. Yeah, kind of get the idea. I'm going to keep this because I might want to sell some coins in here. So maybe sell like five coins in here. Maybe like some five dates. So this is what we have so far. Here's the first slide. This, 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 I'm not getting any new coins for this right now. Maybe once like this side's completed. Second side. This one's coming soon. This one's coming soon on the third one. <clears throat> all right. That's all for now.